update, or pup date as they say, we, uh, we should get our gauges back. But, good or bad news is this. Are you ready? It was a bone fuse. And I don't know why. I've never had a car with bone fuses. I don't like cars with bone fuses, especially my favourite car. Now, the only thing feeding off that circuit seems to be, um, I think the only thing feeding off that circuit seems to be the uh, indicators and the gauges. So I need to have a look as to why that, what's, what else that maybe is causing that issue. Um, I checked for connections onto some of the backs of the gauges going to shorting down to earth or whatever. Um, doesn't seem to be anything there. I don't know what quite what that's going on there, but we've got we have got indicators now. So we've got our indicators now. Um, still got our gauges, thankfully. I cut the indicators on, we've still got gauges. Yeah, I love the old moss box mine right away, okay. Um, I don't really know what to say guys, so I might just uh, I might just take this down to the End of the roundabout, turn around and come back. We'll have a look there and see what, it's, see what it looks like. I'll do a bit of SoCal distance, sing it the old lane here. But yeah, so at the moment we've got some, we've got our gauges still working, thank God. Anyway, so yeah, so like I said, we've uh, we got that sorted. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll keep eye on that. We're not gonna we're not gonna start to get all excited. I've got to put the radio console back in, obviously, properly. I'm struggling to get under there, which is always a bit tight anyway. We've got half tank of fuel, temperature gauge remaining remotely low, oil pressure, look at that oil pressure, eh? Yeah, 40 psi. Yeah, that's good. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not saying that's uh, not the best oil pressure in the world, but hey. Yeah, I can't complain. 500 RPM, tick over it. I said I wanted to do some of the jobs to it just so I could get it, you know, like sorted out. But I mean, obviously, the problem with it, some of this is that you just find it very, very difficult sometimes to do everything outside. Uh, obviously, I can't get it at the top. I can't see. I, I, mean, I just done that blind, so I can't see to get the holes back in. Uh, but all the great to keep is we'll, we'll put the bits and pieces back together there, and we'll we'll come back to that in a minute. But for the minute, guys, I think you've uh, you've had a You've had a journey. You've had a little trip out. I hope you've, uh, I hope you've seen and heard something you like. If you do, don't forget to click and like and all that rubbish. Give me, uh, please give me, you know, comments. Even if it's jumping a lake, I don't mind hearing back from some people. I don't mind actually. It's nice to talk to fellow enthusiasts occasionally. But yes, here she is going back into a little, a little home for a, a, a rest. Yeah, she's had a hard day. Yeah, it's nice. She's fine. Uh, but yeah, so basically, guys, that's her. She's back in her little hole where she lives. I'm gonna have a go. That's something else in it, anyway. So that's it, guys, for now. Um, you know, as I said, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Hope you're all well. And I hope you enjoyed my my little trip out in a check out eat time. Because uh, basically, I, I, these are all gone into the footwell. Look. I nearly lost them. Let me think. Anyway, so we'll put them up there for now because we're not going to put that back together yet. I'm going to. I will put that back in when I can get it more. Of a, I want to get it straight. In. Yeah. So for the minute, guys, we uh, we will have to say to you guys, uh, we've done a pretty awesome job there. Awesome. She's been out. She's. <coughs> She's had a little so soiree down to the bypass and uh, she's back. So, uh, as I said, gauge is working. So, let's hope that that satisfies the people who don't think the gauge is working. Talk to you again. Bye.